and here she oh, is. Oh, here we go. 63 kilo world champion from 2023 moved up in the weight class to rejuvenate the rivalry with current 69 kilo world champion Leah Bavois. Representing Italia, Corolla Gara, 207.5, and this is a big opener for Corolla. She's never opened this heavy before. But look how she handles it. But as you say, she's moved up the weight class. Well, she she was a 69 in Sheffield. Leah Babwa, 212.5 kilos for her opening squat also. Of course, she only has to get the start command. She doesn't have to complete the lift in that time. But I'd like to see it get under the bar really quickly now. And there it is. Look, if it looks a stitch slower for an opener, we got to keep in mind it wasn't the exact setup she had anticipated. Here is Italia's Corolla Gara 217.5, also a 10 kilo jump. The difference being 207.5 moved very well for her. And she's done 220 on the platform before. She did 220 at Sheffield in March. Wow, that was picture perfect for a second. And up next, a world record second attempt by the reigning world champion, Leah Bavois, 225.5 kilos. It's her own record, she set this earlier this year. And she put so many kilos on her squat at Sheffield this year. And she's taking it for a second attempt this time. Leah Babua being pushed to new heights. Now between them, Corolla Garrett and Leah Babua broke this record four times earlier this year. Well, if Leah is going to retain her crown, she needs to pick up kilos in the squad event. Oh, that no. was good, but she. Do you know what? I think it was deeper than her first. Corolla Gara, 222.5 for her third and final. Not being tempted by that record being so close by. You can get a little bit distracted sometimes. I think it's the proper move by Team Italy. Not surprised they're making these moves. And it would be somewhat surprising if she leaves the squad event ahead of Leah Babwa. She had room, Joe. She really did. She is loving this weight class. Look at if Leah isn't on point, Corolla for sure is. Take a look at this, the speed. Superb. Speaking of the world record, 225.5 for Leah Babwa. Can she make the adjustments and retain the lead as well as pick up what might be a very much needed chip. She also has lower body weight. See, neither of these two has grown into the class yet. Leah is 66, Gary is 67, body weight. We've got more to come from these two. It's different this time. Oh! It's not going. And talk about wow. emptying the tank for that squat, though. Tons of heart by Leah Babwa, but just a stitch too much on the day. Look at this fight she gives. Hits depth and refusing to give. But as you say, yeah. Carola Guerra had more left. She's retained some energy. Defending world champ Leah Babwa, 112.5. Be interesting to see if she's discouraged at all, moving forward with just her opener. Well, this is the heaviest she's ever opened on bench. So that doesn't sound very discouraged. She didn't change her attempt. I moved like an opener should.
And the monster bench presser of the division, Karol Lagara, 140 kilos for her opening attempt. She hit 150 back in March. For a little perspective, 154 is the world record. Easy. And if you're wondering who has the bench world record, that's easy. It's Agatha Shitko. She has the world record in the 69s. And when you have a podium contender losing out at that, and that's, that's difficult to adjust for on the fly. I think her right arm was slightly higher than her left. So okay. maybe just one elbow was a little high. 120 for Leah Bavois. This is just two and a half kilos below her personal best. You know, she opened higher than we've ever seen her, but I think she might finish where we've seen her before. Italia's Corolla Gara, 147.5, as we inch a little closer to a possible world record attempt. But she was only two and a half kilos off the world record on squat. And, you know, we think she probably had it in her and she wasn't tempted by that to overreach. So we could see the same situation on bench. <laughs> I don't know, though. Ah, this is tough. Oh, she's not got it. Elbow deck. Now the battle might unfold. 125 for Leah Bavois. Only one squat, but if she can go three for three in the bench press and carry that positive momentum into the deadlifts. At subtotal right now, she's 30 kilos behind Garrett, but she has a much bigger deadlift. It just all might be the makings of a dramatic comeback story. The five kilos will really help. It's two and a half more than she's ever done. Leah Babwa strikes it. back. Three white lights, an entirely different Leah Babwa in the bench press, shrugs off the squad event, and the battle continues. And that's given us some confidence. And of course you have to, you have a bad squat event. Now this is pivotal. 147.5 for Gara. Can she overcome that? It's, it's a hard thing to adjust for on the fly. Maybe just sink it a tiny bit. Maybe bring her grip in one finger. Weight wasn't an issue. That was better. She did sink just a tiny bit on the yep. chest. Two to one. Let's see the jury. Two to one, though. That was much, much better. I thought so. If we can get that replay from the front. I think that's better myself. I we, think we're good. We wait with bated breath. So, Carola Gara takes the... No! no! It's overruled. Gara still takes the gold. And looks almost like she's being consoled yeah. by her head coach. Have to pay attention to that. And Gara, although she bench last, coming out second for the deadlifts, 202.5. Now, her best deadlift raw so far is 212 and a half. But she's moved up a class now. I'd expect her to do more than that today. But expectations aren't always being met today. Yeah, and the thing is, the gain in body weight. Now, this is relatively conservative. I'm not sure she did change her opener. Did she go down? Because she opened with 225 at the Sheffield Championships in March. Her bench was on point, her squats were not. If there's anything along the lines of a tight back, we might see it here. But she's got work to do to catch up Gary even now.
There's a snappy pop at the top. It was a wee bit of work. I hate to read into it too much. Corolla Gara, 210 kilos, seven and a half kilo jump. And two and a half kilos below her personal best. Right now as it stands, her total is 565 kilos. This will bump her up to 572 and a half. Well, she's got a little bit of room to grow there. As she's trying to chase down Corolla Gara. Gara, after two rounds of deadlifting, has 572.5. If Leah can hit this, she'll be at 567.5. There's a gap, but Leah attempting to mitigate that gap. World record is 248.5. Not sure we'll see that in range today. Oh, that was three white lights. I saw. <laughs> I needed to be confirmed by the yeah. refs at the top. Oh. Now I can see Gary in the wings. This is what she's coming out for. 215. To I, give, I don't think it's going to be enough for him. To give her 577.5. Well, so based off of Leah's second, you think she has 10 more kilos in? I do. It's going to be <laughs> dramatic. Here we are. Final lift for Corolla Gara. I believe she's got this. It's still two and a half more kilos than Gara's ever pulled before. She's got it. She can be proud of that performance, but now has to wait in the wings to see where is her placement on that podium. Is it enough? You know, we could do the 2020 hindsight, two and a half more kilos here. The crowd is a hush as defending world champion Leah Babwa loads 240 kilos for the final pull of the day. It is deadlift to gold, it is overall gold. She will win on body weight. We promised a close, exciting battle, and right down to the very last deadlift, here we are. Here she comes. She's on the podium, she's going to the World Games. She looks almost emotional already. Can she defend her world title against the world champion who's come up from the weight class below? today did not expect that to end so quickly no based off of 230 i thought it was going to be a fight but unable to break the ground with it and leah babwa all is not lost silver medal still going to china at world games corolla gara with 577.5 kilos your 2024 69 kilo world champion representing italy of course, often overlooked in classic because she spends some of her time in equipped. She uh, focused on equipped to go to the World Games in 22. She can do it in raw, she can do it classic in 2025. I don't think anybody's going to be overlooking her now.